Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Stash, the investment app. And more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately. And that is, how do you open a Stash account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, guys, it's going to be a really quick video. There's actually not too many steps involved in this application process. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to open up a Stash investment account? Well, that's pretty easy. It's definitely one of the more popular investment apps out on the market because they make it simple for you to invest your money. And it's all handled here in the app. App. It's this black and blue one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave my referral link there, but I'm going to go ahead and open up the Stash app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my Stash app. This is the home screen. Here on the home screen, you can log in, or if you're like us, you're going to sign up for a new Stash account. You want to click on this blue sign up button. Okay, next this pops up. It says they will require basic information about myself in order to open up a new Stash account. So I'll click on start. Okay, first off, Stash is asking for your email in order to set up a a new account. So I'm going to enter mine in off screen. Okay. I went ahead and entered my email. I'm going to click continue. Next dash does ask you to create a password for your account, meeting all of these requirements down here. So I'm going to enter my password in off screen. Okay. I made a password. I'm clicking continue. Next, they do ask me to enter my first legal name. It cannot be a nickname. So I'm going to enter that in. Okay. I'm going to click continue. Okay. Same thing. I need to enter in my last name. It must be my legal last name. So I'm going to enter that in off screen. Okay. Next dash is asking for my birth date, which is a very common question when you are opening up a new investment account with Stash. So I'm going to enter that in off screen. Okay, next Stash is asking for my cell phone number. This is for two-factor authentication. So a lot of times when you're logging into your account, they will send you a text message to verify it's you. So I'm going to enter that in off screen. Next, you want to go ahead and set up a PIN number, kind of like you would do with an ATM card. So when you're logging into specific portions of the Stash app, they will ask for your PIN number. So I'm going to enter mine in off screen. Okay, next question they're asking about my citizenship. So you'll just choose whichever one applies to you. Next, they're asking for my residential address. Usually it cannot be a mailbox or a PO box. You must use the physical address. So I'm going to enter that in off screen. Okay. So I went ahead and entered in my address. Next, it's asking for my household income. So you'll just choose whichever one applies to you. Next, they're asking what my financial interests are. So you can go ahead and choose one or a few of some of these that would apply to you. Next, it's asking me if I want to enable notifications. I don't really like to do that. So I'll click on maybe later. Later. You can click continue if you wish to have those. Okay, next they are saying that Stash has different plans, three different plans for investing. So we're going to get to choose which one we want to participate in. So I'll click on pick my plan. Uh, next, they're letting me know that the first month's monthly fee is gratis. After that, it will continue to be billed. So let me click continue. Okay, so here's a brief rundown on all three of the plans. So we have the Stash Plus, which is $9 per month, Growth, which is $3 per month, and then Beginner, which is $1 per per month. So with the beginner, you get a personal portfolio, beginner in investing advice, banking access, and insurance access. But you do not get smart portfolio, retirement portfolio, or two kid portfolios. You also don't get these additional advice options, which would come with growth or stash. So you can go ahead and just kind of read through these and see which one applies to you. For me, I'm going to choose beginner. So I'm going to click on try one month on us. Okay, next they are asking for my credit card information. This is where the $1 or monthly fee, whatever one you chose will bill each month. So I'm going to enter that information in off screen. Okay. After I put my credit card information in, this pops up letting me know that I will be billed $1 per month for the plan that I chose. And due today is zero because they have the one month free. They run different promotions from time to time. Check my video description for the most recent promotion. If all that looks good, go ahead and click on continue. Okay. Next you get the advisory agreement. Go ahead and click on these little links and read through those. If everything looks good, you can go ahead and click accept. Next, they're asking to set up my investor profile. So I'll click on continue. So they're saying that they're going to have a few questions for me. And based on those answers, then they will make their own recommendations on what I should invest in. So I'll click on start. So they're asking about my employment status. So I'll go ahead and click there. Next, they're asking for my net worth. So you can choose whichever one is appropriate for you. Next, they're asking for my tax filing status. And then now they're asking about my retirement savings. So you can choose whichever one applies to you. And then they're asking for my investing experience. Next, they're asking what my goals are for investing. So choose whichever one applies to you. Next, they're asking when I would like to take money out of my account. So choose whichever one applies to you. Okay, next we're doing something about secure. So let me go ahead and click on start. Okay, they're asking for my social security number. So I'm going to enter that in off screen. Next, they're asking if I would like to add a trusted contact. This is if there's suspicious activity on your account. I don't really need to do that right now. So I'll click no. And then this question is really common when you are opening an investment account. They're asking if you are 
closely related to publicly traded companies, or if you are a politically exposed person, or if you or your family member work at another brokerage. So for me, none of these apply, so I'll click continue. Next, you want to go ahead and verify the personal information that you had entered in. If all of it looks good, go ahead and click continue. Next, you're going to get this pop-up saying that you've read the investing terms and privacy agreements. You can click on these little links and read through those. If it looks good to you and you agree, go ahead and click accept and continue. Okay, now they're saying that I need to add money into my stash account, so I'll click continue. Okay, so this is going to be for the recurring amount that's added into your stash account. You get to choose how much you would like. So this is the amount they want to put into the bank account. This is the amount they want to put into my investment account. So let me click on the bank and then for bank, I'm going to put zero because I'm more interested in the investment portion. And then for the personal portfolio, I'll go ahead and change that. Let's go ahead and just do $10 per week. You can also change that to bi-weekly and monthly if you wish to do so. Just do what's best for your particular budget. Once you've chosen, go ahead and click next and then click on set my schedule. Okay, next you need to link your bank to Stash. So you can do it two different ways. You can do an instant verification. With this, they use a third-party vendor and they will ask for your username and your password to your bank, not Stash. And that allows them to log in to verify your account. You can also do manual verification where they would make very small deposits into your bank. Once those small deposits are made into your bank, they're usually like 75 cents or 80 cents. They immediately withdraw that money too. And then with that information from your bank, you would come back here and verify those amounts. And that way you can manually verify your bank. So do whichever one you feel comfortable with. I'm okay with the instant verification, entering my username and password. Some people are not. If you're one of those people, then use the manual verification. It just takes a little bit longer. It can take up to three business days. Okay. So I'm using instant verification and they're letting me know they're using a company called Plaid. This company is basically used by all of the other investment apps that I've done videos on. So I'm going to click continue. Next, you want to go ahead and choose your bank. If you don't see your bank, go use the search function right here. If you can't find your bank in the search function, then you will need to use the manual verification method we just talked about. For me, I bank with Chase. So I'll go ahead and choose Chase. Okay, next, Plaid is asking for my username and my password to my bank account. That's not to stash. So I'm going to enter that in off screen. Okay, next, Plaid is letting me know that Chase needs to verify it's me who's making this authorization. So they are using my phone number and then my emails that I have associated with my bank account. And then they're going to send a verification code. So choose whichever one applies to you. If you bank with someone else outside of Chase, they might have a little bit different process, but it's probably going to be similar to this. So I'm just going to have them text me a code. Okay, guys, after I entered in the code that was texted me, it pops up with the accounts that I can link with my Stash account. So that's already been chosen. If you have more than one account, make sure you choose the correct one and click continue. Okay, next I get this pop-up saying my external bank has been linked. So I can now use this account to fund my Stash accounts. I'm going to click continue. Okay, and then it immediately pops in to this. So I need to confirm the transfer schedule. So I'm going to transfer $10 weekly from my checking account. So the total today will be $10 and then $10 weekly or whatever amount or time frame that you had chosen. So I'm going to click confirm and transfer right here. Okay. It lets me know transfer has been initiated and it can be two to four days for the transfer to be complete. I'll click continue. Next, they do prompt you to invite a friend because from time to time they do run various referral promotions. Check my video description for the most recent referral promotion. I'm going to click continue. Okay. And then it just brings me back here to the home screen. And now my stash account has been opened and I'm just waiting for the funds to go. So that way I can go ahead and start investing. So there you have it guys. If you're looking for information on how to open a new stash account, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.